truck drivers. You just want to have anything in your house because everything is shifted by trucks. And it's a dying breed, truck drivers are. They really are. You have to be suited for it. Cheers. <laughs> God, thank God it's Friday. Mm. Meanwhile, out in the desert, Yeti's delivery mission is over. His battered truck limps into the settlement of Blackstone. He's late, but at least he's made it. It's just one of half a dozen of these remote communities that will get their last supplies before Christmas from Richo's convoy. Everyone's relieved they finally made it. Because this is our last truck now for... till the end, until next year. And the unload is going smoothly until the shopkeeper notices something isn't right. Shouldn't have gone down that far in that short space of time. Minus seven. After going through hell to get here, this is the last thing Yeti needs. The ice cream's melting. Obviously not cold enough in the freezer. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's running off the pallet. Oh, no, don't say that. What temperature's that freezer running? Oh, it's been running right all the way out here. Uh, probably about eight, seven, eight. What's that running at? It's got to be at minus 18 or below. We'll have to put a claim in against the trucking company. Um, they'll either refund or replace. We might have ruined this whole load and that water's hot. 200 kilometres down the road, melting ice cream is the last of Richo's problems. The crane took a day to get here yesterday, right? So they've charged me for one day. He has a $3,000 a day crane parked and idle because of the washed out road, and he needs to get it back to its owner before it sends him broke. Um, we can have everything unloaded here tonight and, and get the crane on its way first thing in the morning. The deal's done. He'll unload here so he can send the crane back to base and deliver the buildings another time. It's not a perfect result, but at least the food supplies are through in time for Christmas. This is a different world. It's, you're working for a different customer. It's not an endless money pit out here. You have to do it because you love it. And if you don't, then you wouldn't be here, mate. After surviving a hair-raising electrical storm and a couple of close encounters with uncooperative car drivers, don't, don't, don't. Claire and Mark are home. They've covered more than 7,000 kilometres, like driving from New York to Los Angeles and then on to Mexico City. All done. Grabbing our stuff and going home. Cannot wait. It's been a a long week, but it's been a good week. Next time on Outback Truckers. I go into a lot of terrible places. The man who goes where no other truckie dares. But well, I didn't like the sound of that at all. A former model who swaps in front of the camera for behind the wheel. Oh,